the last two outings, you know, Carter has been really good, sweeper too. Uh, you know, that first outing, you know, I told you guys I was not, I was not there. So I started working and that pitch and got, got way better. So just having those two, you know, when they see something, you know, hitters now, they see rotation. So sometimes they see rotation and don't swing, you know, and I got the ability to throw that Carter for a strike and then throw that sweeper too. You say you started working on it after not having it that first outing. Just what is the, the biggest difference between where it was and where it is? I mean, there's a lot of guys here that, that help me, you know, uh, Hefner, you know, Rosado, you know, in between bullpens, just to tell me the, uh, the little things that I'm doing wrong, you know, and uh, uh, stay on top of the ball. You know, if I get around the ball, it's going to be more as a, as a traditional slider. So just a little, you know, little things that uh, you know, help me a lot. So you had a good fastball last year, at least the velocity. Do you Are you commanding it better right now than you were last year, or do you feel like that was never a real problem area for you? I mean, last year was not not problem of velocity. It was just, you know, everything now is about you know how the ride of the fastball. Mm-hmm. So in the off season, I went to dry line. I worked a little bit on that. You know, uh, 97 with you know right now 14 or 17 is not the same as you know 95 or 96 with 20 and 19. So you know that 19 and that 20 is harder to hit. Mm-hmm. So I'm just working more on that. You know, trying to. Then on top of the ball every time, trying to get that, you know, a good fastball. How much does confidence play a part in your results, too? Because last year, just results weren't where you wanted them to be in now. I mean, uh, even last year, I always have, you know, confidence in myself. But, uh, you know, you know, I think everybody in his career got a, you know, uh, a top year, you know. And I learned from that year, you know, and, and came this year, you know, with a better, better attitude, better mentality, just, you know, Try to attack the hitters, uh, make good pitches, and then the, if I do a good job, you know, in the mound, I know the result will come. So what do you think of the way the team's playing right now? Oh, we're doing great. I mean, you know, putting great at bats, scoring a lot of runs. Uh, defense was unbelievable today. I think we turned like three double plays. So I think you know, we we are where we want to be. Why do you think the pitching has been as good as it's been to start the year? Not just starting wise, but the way your bullpen's thrown. I think everybody here, you know, uh, has something to show, you know, uh, a sign rotation, also the, uh, the, the relievers. So uh, if you look at the bullpen, we got like two, two or three guys that can be a closer in any team. So just, you know, I think they came here to show everybody that, you know, uh, we are not done. You know, uh, we got a lot of, you know, years to play that, and we're still, you know, good, good players. What did it mean for you to get that sixth inning today? That's my last one. I mean, the thing is, like, I need like 200 pitches to get to, you know, six innings. Uh, you know, we mix some two seamers then on there to get some ground balls to our play. I think that helped a lot too. But you know, uh, next time just need to limit uh, the walks, uh, and I think I'll be good. Definitely happy with results. It helps build confidence. But uh, I've been doing a good job of having a consi- having an approach every at bat and yeah, trying just trying to put together to get at bats and put good swings on balls. In that particular situation where you got the, the big you know, two RBI hit, what is what is the approach there in that specific situation? Um, try to be on time for a heater against that guy. I knew everything was going to go away from me because uh, going over the game plan with JB before the at bat. So just trying to stay through the middle and stay on time for a fastball. What is just the challenge in general of, of your role? You know, not always starting, playing a different position every day when you do start. Like, what is the overall challenge? Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thankful to be out here with this group every day, no matter what my role is. You know, I try to stay ready uh, as if I'm going to play every day, and that's the mindset I have to keep and to, to do what I have to do. How impressed have you been by, you know, the rest of your teammates who seem to share a similar mindset? You guys have gotten a lot of contributions from you know, guys off the bench or at the bottom of the order this season that's that's led to the type of success you've had? Yeah, I think that just uh, speaks for the type of team that we have. You know, we have a great group, great group in here, and uh, it's been fun. And, you know, we're having a fun time playing for each other, you know, and I think that's huge that creates a winning, uh, winning mentality, and it, it's been cool to see us get some wins lately. Sort of look on you when you came over here was really good defender. I mean, have you always thought that there's, you know, another level here offensively? Um, I mean, I, I just try to, I just try to be my best self every day. You know, I, uh, I, I work hard in, in practice. I, I have an, I have a game plan. I 
have something I'm consistent with my work in the uh, before BP and stuff. So I'm I definitely have the mindset of getting better every day. But you never know with baseball, man. Good things happen, bad things happen. I'm just riding the wave. Do you make any specific adjustments, maybe from this year to from last year to this year at the plate at all? Um, I think. I think that's a big part of the game, you know. Every every off season we go and do it, having a having an idea of what we kind of want to do. Whether it's like like I like to start from scratch and then uh, go just go to my hitting guys and uh, pick people's brains and uh, go go on from there. But yeah, it's a, you're constantly making adjustments in this game for sure. Is there anything specific that you're willing to show? Um, just trying to just trying to really use my lower half and stay connected and have my barrel in the zone as long as possible, you know. Um, try to drive pitches, try to use the whole field. You've kind of played up and down the lineup. Do you have a different approach based on where you're hitting, or does it always just stay the same? No, nah, same, same, depending on the pitcher and what kind of pitches he throws and uh, what our hitting coaches go over and the homework we do, homework I do before, uh, before I play. How do you think that that schedule that you're on, like you said, the pregame work, does that help you stay versatile? Um, yeah, I think I think just having a routine is important for sure. From the perspective of a SoCal guy, what kind of challenge is it going out there and playing the Dodgers? Man, I always I always say uh, I, I love going out there to see my family and stuff, but there's so many people in the stands. That I get a little anxious, so it's I got to slow it down a little more than usual. But it's a fun time, you know. I grew up going to that stadium and uh, watching the Dodgers play a lot, so thankful.